I'm uh, going to talk about a dear person to my heart with a great person that I recently met on LinkedIn, Mr. Ahmed Shawfi. Thanks for being here today with me, Ahmed. Thank you, Aline, for having me. Uh, our topic uh, today is going to be about leadership during the time of crisis. During high pressure situations, those at an executive level and other stakeholders turn toward their senior management to help them navigate turbulent waters, let's say. So the mm. importance of leadership is highly pertinent in such times during uh, in time due to the immediate need for guidance and focused action. So how do leaders deal with crisis? We all know and think immediately that leaders must be able to create plans, communicate, lead the situation, and even think to manage the post-crisis. So in the face of a crisis, quick action can keep a crisis from escalating into a disaster. This is what we know about crisis as CEOs, as C-level executives. But, um, and we all, I think most of us have been through uh, crisis in their businesses or in the environment where they live, and they had to take so many decisions. What is leadership? And what is leadership in times of, in time of crisis? Well, uh, great leaders are students of leadership. And leadership is a journey. It's important to recognize leadership is a journey, is not a destination. Uh, great leaders are always learning to adjust themselves along the way, to inspire others to take actions beyond their capabilities and lead them in a direction that is both compelling and inspiring. Let me explain more. In a crisis, it's really difficult to know whether decisions are the right ones or not. And it's very important to distinguish a crisis from an emergency because some leaders just respond to a crisis the way they respond to an emergency. And in emergency, emergency is a, is a situation just, just that just requires an immediate response based on a predefined set of procedures or plan, could be emergency uh, plan, but the crisis has no predefined, it's uncertain event that, uh, that has emotional, huge emotional attachment, as you rightly said. People are, are like, are, are uncertain, they have uh, huge emotional uh, disruption, fear, full of fear, having a feel of being lost, including leaders and the business owners. During this crisis, we observe it that owners, even country leaders, like they feel that they lost some control at certain point of time. So it's very, impo very important to distinguish a crisis from, uh, uh, from an emergency for leaders to, uh, to be able to move forward and have the right mindset, flexibility, to not overreact to the irrelevant yesterday's uh, situation. Can you give us an example? Well, maybe we can take the example of COVID-19. Leaders have extremely important role. And the most important role in a crisis is to really make a difference in people's life, to have a positive and to make a positive, to have to make a difference, a positive difference in people's lives. Would you like to give an, an example about leadership during a time of crisis that happened lately? One of the uh, role models, and she is a, a woman, uh, uh, the way she responded to the crisis initially, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, the way she responded and reacted to the crisis in, in a situation, in uncertain situation when she lagged information uh, and she reacted to, she was really a, a role model or exemplary model in the way she reacted to the situation, to the COVID uh, uh, at, in the early stage when she uh, when she increased uh, their her um, emergency response or crisis response procedures in the country uh, to from two to four and that saved thousands of lives in the country. <laughs> What are the main leadership practices for business leaders? And also we can take the example of the Prime Minister of New Zealand. And there are top five practices that will be very relevant to help leaders to be more effective in the crisis. 
So it's not a magic wand. What I want to say is not a magic magic wand. There are so many practices, but the most relevant in a crisis are five, in my opinion. Those five are, first is really for leaders to communicate more frequently and more transparently. Clearly, I mean, to have a clear vision and values. Demonstrate empathetic leadership. Being agile and act with a sense of emergency. And finally, the fifth is to be inclusive. Let me explain. Communicating more effectively. Uh, communicating more frequently and transparently. Uh, leaders should be clear of what, in a crisis, of what they know, what they don't know, and what they are working or going to do. I remember from my studies, uh, at my previous studies at Harvard Business School, Professor Amy Edmondson said, transparency is job one for leaders in a crisis. Mm -hmm. transparent, transparent and frequent communication really promotes psychological safety and it's a critical element in the time of crisis and also build trust in the team. It shows that leaders are following the situation and really adjusting their responses. Uh, makes the team fe feel like safe in the workplace to share their concerns, to clarify about something, uh, to be more productive, more engaged, more productive, and that ultimately as well increase the profitability. Let me explain the second other points too. Clarity of vision and the core business values. Ideally, leaders and the followers should be grounded by a shared purpose and the set of values that will keep them at the time under pressure and in the, in the stressful time to be always in the right direction to their, uh, what they call, North Star. So they are always in the right direction. The third, the third point is the empathetic leadership. This is a very important point and the importance of empathy couldn't be emphasized more uh, during this uh, crisis. And people confuse empathy with sympathy. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about empathy. This is so. This I wanted more details on this point. Here. Empathy, empathy. When I share your feelings, sympathy. When I understand your feelings, but I don't necessarily share them. For example, if you are frustrated now from a, a specific situation, I don't have to be necessarily being frustrated too. But I will understand your frustration. I will listen to you learn more about how you feel and show my understanding to you and try to do something about it. See, the more we, uh, the more we uh, listen, the more we learn, and the more we learn, the more insights we gain. It's important to, to know that the story we, uh, we tell in our minds is different than the story that in the other people's minds. So by listening and learning, we get to know how they think, how, do, how they feel, and we can work together better. Great empathetic business leaders. I think one of, the, of those leaders today I would uh, I think of right now is the Microsoft CEO, Satya Nadal. He made empathy the center point of his culture initiatives at Microsoft. And he said that empathy makes better innovators. That's from business leaders. Beyond the business, uh, Gandhi and uh, Mandela mm -hmm. are great empathetic leaders. They sacrifice, these that sacrifice their own needs for the needs of greater God. Uh, and it's all, agility uh, is a mindset. Also people confuse agility with uh, a specific uh, approach that we have to follow a specific framework. Agility is really about, is, is a mindset and about you know, taking decision, not necessarily for uh, perfect action, but to learn from those action and build on. And it's a loop process. Take the action uh, for, for good progress and build on that quickly and move forward. The last point, the fifth point is being inclusive. Uh, because, you know, in the time of crisis, the time of crisis and, the, and, and under pressure, even the most intentional and well-meaning leaders 
may fall into the pattern of pious and exclusion. So I believe being, in, being inclusive is extremely important in, in the time of crisis to have, because to have, for having everyone on board, having all perspective from those people, all perspective to solve those new uncertain issues. When people have biases, first of all, we need to, we need to be more mindful to our biases. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we start to be more mindful, to have the mindset that everyone, to include everyone in the, in the process. That's where we start, to have that flexible and open mindset, to include everyone around. Uh, in short words, what's your message to business leaders to effectively lead uh, through uncertain times and difficult economic situations? Our first point to the leaders is really always act in a principled manner. Uphold the organization and your own values. That's the start. Then I would like them to remember and act on the five practices of leadership that we just mentioned. From transparency, purpose, empathy, agility, and inclusion. Those are great ways to steer through any difficult situation. The last point is the importance of corporate governance and being sustainable to hit the triple, the, the triple bottom line from for people, planet, and the prosperity, profitability. So we can, we can really do well to our organization by doing good to others too. That's my final message. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, hopefully we can meet again soon with other topics and uh, leadership skills and, uh, and empathy. Thank you for inviting me and I look forward to our next chat. Thank you. Bye-bye.